bonjour, namaste, ni hao, and oh hi everybody. What is going on? It is Gail Wright here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Don Machi Memorial Freeze video. And today we are going to be covering everything that was announced in today's JP live stream, including a brand new banner based on the Argonaut event. Now, of course, if you guys go on to enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel for more Don Machi and Don Machi Memorial Freeze content, and let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on the brand new units coming to the game and are you guys planning on summoning on the brand new banner but yes today we're going to be going over everything that's been announced in the jp live stream and everything that's going to be coming out this week in don nemo of course one more thing to add on is that next week we are going to be getting the part two live stream and the part two units as well so stick around for that of course i'll be going into a little bit of detail uh, in regards to part two and my thoughts on part two with this new banner coming out this week and going over what you should be possibly doing in terms of whether or not you should summon this week or you should summon next week of course so Keep that in mind and stick around for the rest of the video to get an idea on exactly what's going down now first and foremost they decided to do a little bit of a recap of everything that's happened in part one so far of course you know it's been about four or five weeks since the start of part one right so of course uh, a lot of people are maybe coming back into the game right now because of the sixth anniversary or people are you know well you know just casually playing so to give them an idea of exactly what's been happening they just did a bit of a recap of everything that happened we also had a quiz actually a quiz section uh, on the first part of uh, Orgeus, Orgeon Saga where they basically asked four questions and for each question they would give out a three star guaranteed ticket which we will be getting i think later tonight or tomorrow morning something like that basically so we got all the questions right um even though they kind of had to cheat for one of the questions because um thanks to uh, us basically we kind of got the question wrong unfortunately um i got it right I, I i put in the right answer but the others put in the wrong answer and we lost by like one percent so they decided to redo the question and we obviously got it right the second time around so they basically gave it to us as a right answer so at least we managed to get that right um but they went over everything that's happened in part one so we don't need to look at this you guys already know what's been happening in the game of course if you've checked all my previous videos and stuff of course right um so you guys know what's already happening in the game and everything um of course if you are new to the game remember that we are getting a thousand iris still to this day if you haven't logged in at all during the anniversary yet there is a one-time login bonus of a thousand iris and along with it you can also still get this login bonus for the next seven or eight days as well so take advantage of it if you haven't already get into the game try and log in as much as possible to try and get as much iris as possible from this login bonus you won't be able to get all of it because it does end on the 20th of july but just try your best and get as much as possible right just try and get as much of the iris as possible it is amazing um, also, Lotto Rario, next week is the result, so make sure your guys are getting your tickets. Of course, they will announce the numbers next week, and then we just have to compare the numbers. They will automatically be doing it as well in-game, so you don't have to do anything. Just try and log in, get the tickets when you can, and so that, you know, potentially the numbers match up, and you might be a winner. You may be a winner, you may be a loser, but at the end of the day, all of us will get potatoes. That's for sure. Every single one of us will be getting potatoes no matter what. So keep that in mind. Um, of course, we have the Don Mimo 6th Anniversary Bundle as well right here. Um, of course, we've had the first three bundles already out and running. Um, the Battle Princess, King, and Jester Bundles. The King Bundle will be ending this week, of course, right? So if you want to pick it up, you can. Of course, this week, we are also getting the Hero Bundle for the first time. So... Again, if you are a spending player, it's not bad value, realistically speaking, because you're getting prison bonds and everything. So it's okay-ish value, I would say. It's okay-ish value for those who are spending. I wouldn't necessarily recommend a dolphin to go and buy this bundle, to be quite honest, or a, a small minnow, somebody who doesn't spend that much on the game. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, to be quite honest. Um, we also have the special box here as well that you can potentially uh, cop if you want to. Sixth anniversary gotcha is ongoing. And uh, that brings us to the latest information. That brings us to the latest info. So I wasn't actually sure if we were going to have a live stream today. I thought that we weren't going to have a live stream today. Um, in fact, I thought that, you know, when I woke up in the morning yesterday, I was like, all right, I need to plan a couple of videos for the next week. You know, it's going to be a slow week. We're probably going to have Record Buster again. And that's about it, right? We're not going to have anything else because it is, of course, a bit of a slow week until we get, of course, the next part of the anniversary next week right but of course as i woke up i saw that the don machi memorial freeze twitter account the jp twitter account posted that we were actually going to be getting a live stream tomorrow and then i realized that oh wait 
the Argonaut first volume, the first volume of Argonaut, is releasing this week. It is releasing on the 14th of July, and I thought it was actually releasing at the end of the month. So I just completely missed the date entirely. I got the date absolutely wrong. And because it's releasing this week, we are getting a banner for the Argonaut volume release. Yes, we have two brand new units coming this week in the form of Argonaut and Ariadne. Argonaut being a fire physical unit and Ariadne being an assist. As you can see, it is a time limited banner. So it is not a hero festa. It is not a non time limited banner. It is a proper time limited gacha banner, not double rates, by the way. It is a 14710 step up banner, of course. And uh, yeah, it's very similar to the Australia record JP novel gachas, basically. So how we had last year in October, we had Alize Ar Ardi, we had uh, Kagya, Lyra, and then we had Estrella and Erebus, right? It's exactly like those banners, basically. It is very much straightforward. And uh, these units, in all honesty, are cracked. We'll go over them in just a second. But as you can see here, Thread of Eternity Ariane is an assist. You can tell by the bubbles, of course, right? Then we have Argonaut, who is a fire unit and like i said she is also a physical unit um there is going to be a login bonus as well 400 iris there we are also getting 100 iris for just the release of the jp novel of course so 500 iris in total of course is being given out over the next two weeks 100 being instantaneously and then 400 over the span of two weeks time let's take a look at the units now let's take a look at the units and let's see what they're capable of doing so big shout outs to jassi as always for you know translating everything and getting us uh all the details for these units of course right so we'll start off with argonaut so as you can see argonaut is a fire physical unit um very good stats by the way very 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 good stats 2,221 strength, 758 uh, endurance, 1,037 uh, dexterity, 1,273 agility. Very solid. Very, very, very solid. Of course, fire physical, like I said. And this is where things get really cracked for this dude. Honestly, this is where things get really cracked for this dude. So his special arts is an AoE ultra fire physical attack with ultra on guard rate and temporary great strength boof, uh, boost and remove status buffs and inflict stun. Already very solid, very much PvP oriented as you can tell with the status buff removal, inflict stun, great strength boost. But that's not all. He also gives allies SA gate charge plus 55%. First unit to do that by the way. All the other units like Haruhime for example gives 44% SA gate charge. He also gives P res, M res and ailment res plus 50% for two turns. Very solid, very very solid special arts and uh, very decent, very decent honestly. But that's not the beauty of this unit. The beauty of, its, of this unit comes in his first two skills. His first skill is 212 MP, self slow 70% HP heal. So already a good start, a slow skill off rip, right? He gives himself agility and heal rate plus 70% for two turns. Very good then. And then he gives himself, it's himself, not allies. It's not like Nocturnal Elf Ryu, but he gives himself two physical nulls and two magic nulls insane it is actually insane what he's capable of doing here and then he gives five additional actions of foe's high fire physical attack with ultra on god rate skill damage plus 50 percent per self sr and magic debuff and allies extends status buffs by two turns and 10 percent mp heal that is a fantastic first skill honestly it is insane how good they've made this guy for being a time limited unit not an anniversary unit by the way this is just an argonaut release gacha banner they've made him effectively like a hero festa unit you look at his stats you look at his skill it's insane it is honestly insane what they've done with this guy like i said right 70 so first and foremost to go over the first skill right it's a slow ability, which means he'll go last. Again, like I've always said, you know, the slow ability is very important in the first turn. It's because you can then avoid any sort of like agility remover or SGR magic remover entirely. You re you ignore them effectively, of course, right? Unless you're facing off against like somebody with Antario or something like that, right? But you're basically avoiding those characters, right? And of course, he's giving himself that 70% HP heal so that if he gets hit on turn one, He's able to heal that damage back, basically, and then give himself that two times physical null and magic null for the second turn, which is amazing, right? And then on top of that, you look at his additional actions, right? He's giving himself 50% damage per each self SR and magic debuff, which means he can go up to 200%, provided that he is facing units that are able to inflict SR and magic debuffs. 
for example, like, you know, um, Hero Festa Elise, who does inflict STR magic down. If you go up against units like, for example, technically even the for part one uh, eyes, right? She inflicts minus 40% uh, magic. Um, on her second skill. So technically that is also something and then on top of that he can extend the status buffs by two turns and give himself a 10% MP heal. That is brilliant. It is honestly so so good what he's capable of doing on that first skill and then his second skill complements that tr tremendously. His second skill is 80 MP AoE fast super fire physical attack which means that he'll go first most likely and he also has ultra and counter rate gives himself STR and dexterity 70% and fire attack damage plus 100% for four turns and also he's able to remove AoE damage reduction buffs and p and m minus 40% for four turns. Insane unit right here. Insane. Honestly, this guy is so good. This guy is so good. I cannot tell you how good this guy is. Um, for PvP, he is a must-have. He is genuinely a must-have for PvP. Um, when it comes to PvE, I'm I'm a bit skeptical of him. There are some people who I've spoken to who are a bit more fond of him, even in PvE. But that's something that we will have to test out and see for ourselves when the time comes, of course, right? But overall for PvP, I mean, the amount of stuff he's doing. First and foremost, going slow is great. He's able to heal himself, so any damage he takes on turn one, he's protected effectively. And then on top of that, able to also add that two times physical null and magic null is insane. And then the additional actions, again, with what he's doing there is stupendous. It is stupendous, in, in all honesty. And yeah, like I said, the second skill only complements that, right? Getting the agility from turn one, and then of course, getting that fast ability on turn two means he'll be the first one to go basically more often than not, especially with the stats he has. It's fantastic. And also on top of that, again, stall teams, he's able to remove AOE damage reduction and also reduce their P res and M res, which is brilliant. So overall, fantastic, fantastic unit for PvP. Third skill is a little bit eh, in my personal opinion, but again, it's something that we'll have to see and test out for ourselves. Um, his S3 is 82 MP, full super fire physical attack with Ultron God Rate skill damage plus 70% per self SCR magic debuff and self 40% MP heal. Solid, but again, I don't know where you're gonna get this big SGR magic debuff from. You'll see it in Familiar Rush, you'll see it in potentially, uh, well, you'll see it guaranteed in 7th zone. In Familiar Rush, it depends on the enemy, of course, right? But I feel like it's something that's pretty rare and you're not gonna see it that often. So for me personally, I'm not the greatest fan of the S3, but it can come in handy, to be quite honest. It can come in handy. His passives are very straightforward, 45% win res, 40% STR magic, ag endurance, agility, dexterity. That's the reason why his stats are so high. 25% damage on critic and penetration rate. And then 25% P res and M res. Brilliant. Ogre killer as well. So dub ups there. Dubs there. Honestly, big dubs there for Argonaut. Ariadne is no joke either. She is phenomenal. So STR based assist, thumbs up there. But then after that, Allies STR and magic res plus 25% and adds 4 instant effects of when attacked by magic attacks, removes magic buffs from a single enemy and this effect can happen up to twice per turn. This Ariadne is effectively a alternate version of Adult Felice. If you don't have Adult Felice and like myself you want to get a plus 25% STR unit, here she is. This is a unit I need. I desperately need this unit, of course. And, uh, you know, as somebody who's struggling in Record Buster to get a better score because of the fact that I'm missing a unit like her, I need that. I need it. I need it. I need it desperately in my life. This banner is going to be a must-have for me. And uh, honestly, I think you guys kind of have to summon on this banner. But I will say this, and this is a big but, by the way. Let's go back to the... Uh, uh, let's go back to the page one second, right? And let's talk about um, the banner, right? So it's a 14710 banner. It's not double rates, right? The banner will probably last for another three to four weeks at least, right? And of course, next week we are getting the part two banners. And I'll keep mentioning this in all my videos regarding these uh, units. When I do my shitty summon, when I do my summons and everything, I'm going to keep mentioning this. I think if you have very limited amounts of iris, say you're only at 8,000, 9,000 iris, you are you know, not actively outfit farming or doing CP leveling or anything of that sort, right? And you're reliant on basically war games, record buster iris, right? 
I would suggest waiting till next week, right? And the reason why I'm suggesting that is because this week we have Record Buster, where both of these units aren't really going to make a huge difference to your team. Of course, Ariadne will make a little bit of a difference with her 25% if you're running a physical team. But if you're running a magic team in Record Buster, not necessarily that much will be affected, right? Um, of course, next week is when we'll get War Games again. So that's where you might need Argonaut especially, right? Um, but also next week we have the part two units. So I really would recommend that, you know, if you are, you know, struggling with Iris a little bit and if you don't have, let's say, for example, 12,000, 13,000 plus Iris, I would say, wait and see what's coming out next week. Because I feel like this could be a very easy bait for them to have dropped right now, make Argonaut cracked out of the mind. And then next week, the banners that we get for part two will have a new mechanic or something along those lines, which will make them insane units right so i would suggest waiting till next week to be quite honest to summon on this banner be a little bit patient accumulate as much iris as possible and then decide once we get the skills in next week's live stream then decide okay this is the banner i want to go for this is the one i want to start off with and then go from there basically because you'll have enough time to decide and obviously with these banners being live for a while they're not going to just disappear in a week a week's time they'll go on until i want to say the start of august at the very least if not the second week of august so you'll have more than enough time to make a decision on whether or not you want to summon on this banner so i would say be patient and wait and see what the part two banners drop and uh, go from there however if you do have 16,000 plus iris or like 14,000 plus iris or whatever summon on this banner because these units are really strong really really valuable i cannot believe they've made argonaut this strong he's not a hero festi unit he's not anything of that sort and they made him insane honestly insane um these banners will be dropping this week like i said we are getting a win record buster as well so it does seem to be fire based we'll have to see of course on uh how good argonaut performs there i'll be doing some testing when i do summon of course um the login bonus will start on friday of course and you have it right here so this thursday heroic tale argonaut uh, jp novel gacha uh, sixth anniversary bundle record buster seven zone we are also getting the login bonus as well and then of course next week the distribution for the lotto orario ends so make sure you're getting all your tickets sorted out and everything and uh so that you can get uh, a higher chance of getting something in next week's uh lotto orario but there you guys have it that's all the news for this week uh, a little bit of a shorter one but i mean it was obviously going to be based fully on argonaut let me know what you guys think about the units that uh, yourselves do you guys think that you're going to go for the banner do you guys have the iris to do so or are you guys gonna wait for part two and then go from there let me know what you guys think thank you guys so much for watching this video please be sure to leave a like down below subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next one take it easy everybody bye bye